Senator Ted Cruz, along with a few other Republican senators, are going right for the jugular. They're launching an investigation into former President Obama's influence in overseas politics, which was done on the taxpayer's dime and through George Soros' USAID organization. These senators want Secretary of State Rex Tillerson to immediately investigate efforts by Obama administration to sway foreign elections by sending taxpayer funds to extreme and sometimes violent political activists. Free Beacon reports. The lawmakers disclosed multiple conversations with foreign diplomats who outlined active political meddling by the Obama administration's State Department including the use of taxpayer funds to support leftist causes in Macedonia, Albania, Latin America, and Africa. A portion of this State Department funding appears to have gone to organizations supported by the controversial liberal billionaire George Soros, according to the letter, which was authored by Republican Senators Mike Lee, Utah, Jim Inhofe, Oklahoma, Tom Tillis, N.C., Ted Cruz, Texas, David Perdue, Georgia, and Bill Cassidy, Law. The senators are asking Tillerson to launch a full-scale investigation into these funding efforts in order to determine how exactly the Obama administration sought to promote left-leaning causes and political parties across the globe. The latest disclosures of this activity mirror efforts by the Obama administration to send taxpayer funds to Israeli organizations that opposed Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in the country's last election. Political leaders from a range of nations spent months informing the lawmakers about these activities. Over the past few months, elected officials and political leaders of foreign nations have been coming to me with disappointing news and reports of U.S. activity in their respective countries," Lee said in a statement. This includes reports of diplomats playing political favorites, U.S. aid funds supporting extreme and sometimes violent political activists, and the U.S. government working to marginalize the moderates and conservatives in leadership roles. This sort of political favoritism from our missions around the world is unacceptable and endangers our bilateral relationships, he said.